So now we have come to the biogas plant at our Ramakrishna Yoga Ashrama. So this is actually my personal favorite, one of the best nature-based solutions for uh, energy requirements. And uh, in my opinion, this takes the minimum environment footprint to build it. That is the cost of environment in terms of building this infrastructure is very less. So I have earlier spoken about uh, biogas plants. Mostly I have shown the floating dome kind of a biogas plant. This is slightly different. This is a fixed dome. This is the dome of the biogas plant. This is a fixed dome. The dome doesn't move here. Unlike the rooftop uh, biogas plants where the, 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 the dome moves and as in when we actually feed in and that's when the gas is generated. This is a fixed dome. This is more suitable for higher feed and higher pressure and higher requirement of gas. So the concept is the same. The basically the, the household or the organic waste here is fed into the digester. The digestion happens, methane is produced, the methane is scrubbed and taken into the kitchen for cooking gas. This is slightly more elaborate compared to a rooftop scale uh, floating dome kind of a biogas plant. This is a fixed dome. I'll just walk you through the components in this and how this actually works. So it starts from our mixing tank. This is the mixing tank. This is where the organic waste is mixed with water. We have provided a water line here. So the water water comes here so you can put in your waste and and mix the mix the waste here we'll have to uh, properly mix the waste before before dosing in so a water line is given so that the uh, the, uh, the waste can be put here and and mixed so this is designed to take about 80 kgs of waste per day 80 kgs means 40 kgs of solid rather the organic waste mixed with 40 kgs or 40 liters of water so totally 80 kgs of feed can be given into this digester so this is the mixing tank the maximum uh, solid waste which comes here is the cow dung from our goshala we can also mix the organic waste from the kitchen that is the leftover food peels vegetable waste fruit waste etc so all our waste can actually go in into the mixing tank this is the mixing tank so the waste is nicely mixed here with, with water. And from here, after mixing, it goes into our feed and feeder tank. This is the feeder tank. I have provided a, a valve here. Once the waste is properly uh, mixed, we can open the valve. Of course, it's important to mix it with enough water. So now we'll open the valve. Now the waste starts going, rather the slurry, the input starts going into the feed and tank. This is the feeder tank. So all the waste is, is, is given into the feeder tank. From the feeder tank, the input comes into our digester. So this is the digester. This is the main uh, component of the system. So this is where an anaerobic process, anaerobic digestion process happens. This is deliberately painted black so that the surface is warm or hot. Higher the temperature, the better is the digestion. So anaerobic uh, reaction happens here, which converts our waste into usable methane the gas so produced flows in this pipe into the kitchen so this pipe you can see there's a small detail here the gas goes like this and there's elevation given deliberately sometimes there'll be moisture or some water in the gas that has to be taken out from time to time so in that kind of a scenario we can open the valve here the moisture release valve is given which takes out the moisture from the gas so this gas now it goes into the kitchen and now we come here to the slurry tank. This is called a slurry tank. Uh, so in the digestion process, a byproduct, a byproduct is a very rich liquid, undigested liquid. So this is the tank. This is deliberately uh, made a little bigger. So that if there is a deficiency in the feed, whatever is the slurry which comes out here can go back into the digester. So this slurry gets accumulated in this tank. And when this tank overflows, this goes into an overflow tank here. So this is the usable slurry. So this is very, very rich in NPK content. And this can be used for our farm. As you can see, we have a pretty decent and pretty big uh, farm here. So this slurry here is mixed with water. And uh, that is dosed to our plants. But one has to be careful. It cannot be put directly. For smaller plants, we recommend one is to five dilution. For bigger plants, one is to three dilution. 
So this is the usable slurry, and this is a slurry tank where the slurry gets collected. Only the overflow goes there. Okay, and now the gas which is so produced contains some amount of impurities, mostly hydrogen sulfide, moisture, and carbon dioxide. So we have given a small uh, scrubber or a filter here. There is a three-stage filter. So the gas so produced. first goes into a cartridge with water where some amount of carbon dioxide is dissolved then we have a desiccant which is has a activated carbon so this removes moisture from the gas further the gas moves into a, a chamber with steel mesh which scrubs some amount of hydrogen sulfide so the gas which goes from this uh, uh, scrubber or filter goes into our kitchen so we have our uh, kitchen here so uh, enough and more gas almost 3 to 4 hours of gas per day is produced is enough for about two meals in a day the kitchen is right inside we will go inside and see our uh, stove and the cooking process so you know this is our kitchen now so we have the biogas digester right right there so the fuel is made right there the biogas is generated right there after scrubbing we have connected into the two stoves here so one is here this is called a canteen burner so this is a bigger burner right so here uh, the this is generally used for cooking higher volumes of, uh, of of stuff here so this is a canteen burner the gas is connected here we also have a one more burner here so this is a hybrid stove i have spoken about hybrid stove earlier this has got two burners one side is the biogas you can see a slightly bigger uh, bigger diameter of the hose there this side is our lpg so the biogas is now connected to both the stoves for roughly about 40 people here two meals in a day is cooked using our biogas so that's about the biogas why i say it's so beautiful is the fuel or the cooking gas is produced right behind the kitchen so the environment footprint of this gas is almost nil or negligible or to to say it's rather very very minimum this is about the biogas digester in campus thank you so much